The Global Trends Report, released this year by UNHCR, shows that at the beginning of 2010, the number of people forcibly displaced worldwide stands at 43.3 million. This is the highest amount in more than a decade. The dramatic uh, thing is not only that these numbers are growing, but that the situations are becoming more protracted. We see conflicts that never end. We see people remaining as refugees or internally displaced for decades. And for these people, shelter is an absolutely essential need to be met. As the leading organization in the field of human displacement, UNHCR's aim is to ensure that even if these people have lost their homes, they haven't lost their future. At the beginning of 2010, more than 26 million people, 10.4 million refugees and 15.6 million IDPs were receiving protection or assistance including shelter from UNHCR. In many situations, generated by severe conflicts, upsurge violence, massive floods or intense earthquakes, UNHCR faced a range of emergencies requiring an immediate life-saving response. In all these operations, shelter is a key component of UNHCR assistance. Shelter is often prioritized as one of the fundamental tools for saving lives and prolonging survival. I think everybody will see quite clearly that uh, shelter uh, is a priority in terms of protection, of protecting basic aspects of life. Shelter is home. And uh, uh, for a refugee, for anybody who has to flee, you know, to have a home means more than just a physical setting. In the last six decades, UNHCR has been providing assistance in emergencies, including shelter provision. We can airlift, we can complement that by ship, sea, or by road, in order for us to reach up to 600,000 people in only 72 hours. UNHCR is now the world leader in the provision of mass emergency shelter distribution and delivery. At global coordination level, the emergency shelter cluster is co-chaired by UNHCR and IFRC. At country level, UNHCR leads the emergency shelter cluster following conflict, while IFRC convenes the cluster after natural disasters. We are trying uh, working with the IFRC and other partners at the, as a cluster at the global level to make sure that globally as a cluster the response is more effective, more predictable and more timely. In the emergency shelter response, UNHCR's main partners are United Nations agencies, governments, donors, private sector, local NGOs, international NGOs, local community and the displaced community. The aim of UNHCR's emergency shelter response is to reduce protection risks and prevent loss of life by focusing on the following issues. Preparedness for emergencies, leadership in emergency shelter, delivery, technical capacity, partnership, coordination, shelter solutions, UNHCR has the capacity to respond to the emergency needs of the affected population who were left with literally nothing. UNHCR will continue to build its capacity to respond to emergencies and provide shelter for displaced persons in both refugee and internally displaced situations. UNHCR, more than six decades of helping the world's uprooted people.